letter from the Lord given through Suzanne Davis on September 19th, 2023. The title, They Have Given Themselves Over to Evil. The hour is late. It's the changing of the God. Soon all the sheep who have been guarded by God, if they don't come out with me to my heavenlies to safety and safekeeping, those left behind will be guarded by the wolves and the wolves will take over and they will be ravenous without mercy and they will desire the sheep and the flock left will be a large flock. These sheep left will be the ones who refuse to come at my calling and to watch for the one true shepherd. They will be found lacking and wanting because they choose to look away, because they choose to pursue the wolves in sheep's clothing when they could have been under my direction, the true shepherd. This large flock has put evil over themselves. They have given themselves over to evil. They listen to what tickles their ears, their itching ears. They do not want the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the oil that would protect their ears, eyes, and mouths. They have chosen rather to listen to foul spirits, religious spirits that operate in their midst. Believing themselves right with me, they will be lost and left. I will look away when they find themselves left and are crying out. It will be too late and so many will be caught in sudden destruction. And then even the Antichrist will not end their suffering. My children, can you not see that without me you are hopeless and helpless? You are running adrift in a lost world if you are not anchored to me, the solid rock. Lean not even on your own understanding. For men's hearts are wicked apart from my heart and my love and my understanding. Come to me for truth and understanding. If you do not come to me soon and lay your life down, you may be caught outside of my will, the will of the Father and the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And without a full oil lamp, you will be deemed unworthy and you will not be able to enter in. For I cannot tolerate sin in my kingdom and without my blood sacrifice and you acknowledging what I did on the cross, you cannot receive the salvation of your soul. If you do not repent of your past life of sin, your hands will be found dirty before my holy face and then you will not be able to enter into my kingdom, my beautiful kingdom, and be with me for eternity, set apart from evil. So come to me this day. Surrender your all to me. Give me a full surrender. Leave nothing to chance. A partial surrender will be as no surrender. Do not believe that you can hold hands with the world and me both. The enemy who runs this world would have you believe so, but it is a lie from the pit of hell. Listen to these words today. They are golden. Let them pierce your heart. Come to me for understanding and truth. Pray to me when you read my word and talk to me throughout the day. Do not let these moments get by you. The enemy will have you fill your days with trivial pursuits so that you will take your hands off of what is important, what is life-saving. Put your hand in my hand. Let me show you the plans that I have made for you, a plan to give you a hope and a future. Time is slipping away. Every day, men face me to give an account of their lives. Your soul is precious.
Do not gamble with the unknown future. Take nothing for granted. Make it a priority to come to me today even. I am pleading with you because I love you. I created you and I want what's best for you. The enemy has no friends. He wants to destroy you. Do not follow his lead. It will only lead to your destruction. These words are for your ears. It is no mistake you are hearing them. Take this message seriously, for it is a serious message. Cast your cares upon me. Let me take your burdens upon my shoulders. I can bear them. If you wait too long, you will have eternal sorrow. This is your Lord, the God of love. Amen. Read John chapter 10 verse 11, John chapter 10 verse 12, Matthew chapter 7 verse 15, and Zechariah chapter 11 verse 16. Don't get left behind. Oh, the rapture is coming.